Hey guys, Joe Wolverton, Teacher of Liberty here. Last video about Germania. I know, I know. How can I? No, it's not a funeral, it's okay. So, last video on Germania. Now at the end of Germania, which remember is, just means Germany, Tacitus names all the different tribes. Now if you go and Google it, you can find a map that shows you where the different tribes were that Tacitus describes is pretty interesting, particularly if you know, for example, where your family comes from in Germany, if you have German ancestors. So that's pretty fun. But he goes through the tribes and he talks about each one separately and sort of the good and bad of each of those tribes. So in this video, the last one on Germany, and I hope you've felt the spirit. I hope you've learned some things. I hope your heart and your mind have been touched by these stories. And I want to read to you about two tribes. One tribe called the Ubians, yep, I, don't, I didn't name them, the Ubians, and one tribe called the Chaucians. These are two separate tribes in Germany, and I'm going to put a graphic up so you can just follow along with me the things that he says about them, and I'll read them and discuss them. But these are these two tribes, and I hope at the end you can decide which one you'd rather be associated with. And if you do look up like your family history and you find out family was probably Ubians. Don't tell anybody, okay? Don't tell anybody. How are we going to know? How are we going to know? Just act Chaucian and you're Chaucian. All right, here we go. You ready? All right, the Ubians, the tale of two tribes, the Ubians and the Chaucians. Here we go. The Ubians. First, they are ashamed of their country. Second, they are proud that they were the first city to surrender to Rome. Third, after they surrendered, they changed the name of their city to a Roman name. Next, they're always ready to prove their loyalty to Rome. And last, they protect the Romans from the other German tribes. Now, talk a little about the Ubians for a second. Remember, try to find how these things apply to you. Okay? I'm not talking about as a country or as... No, you as an individual, ashamed of their country. Are you ashamed of your family? Are you ashamed of who you are, your faith, your values? Are you proud that you're more worldly than other people you know, other people in your family, other people you go to church or school with? Are you proud that you're more Roman than they are? Do you change your name to a Roman name? Not literally, right? But do you like being associated first with other things other than your family name, the name of your faith, that sort of thing? Do you like Roman names better? Are you defending Rome? This one is difficult for me because I myself, when I was a teenager, sometimes I was an Ubian. I had some people that I went to church with that were so virtuous, so good, never laughed at wickedness, any of that. And sometimes when people would mock them for being goody two-shoes, I would do it too. Once I read Germania, I realized that that was being an Ubian. I was protecting my Roman friends by attacking my fellow Germans. Don't don't be an Ubian man. Don't do that. Be proud of who you are. If other people don't like it, so if you get mocked for being virtuous, so persecuted they the prophets that came before you. You think of the Son of God, he descended below them all. So don't be an Ubian. Don't be making fun of people who always are doing right and being modest and avoiding vulgarity and don't watch the video. You don't watch that? I can't believe you don't watch that. It's so funny. Well, I don't laugh at wickedness, Slick. What do you want? All right, don't be an Obian. Now, who should you be? 
a Chaucer. You ready? Here we go. Noblest of all the tribes, they retain their reputation through justice, not violence. They live peaceably. They don't get involved in any outside wars. They never provoke any wars. They never take anything from other tribes by force. They never plunder each other. Their superior position does not depend on their military strength, but on the strength of their character. Guys, that's who you want to be. All Chaucian, all the time. They were the noblest. They peace through strength. They didn't take things from other tribes. They didn't allow the people in charge there to take even from each other. They didn't allow you to plunder each other. They didn't ever start wars. They didn't look to get involved in other people's wars. They lived in peace and they were noble. But now I'll tell you, Tacitus does say, if you ever mistook their peace for weakness, you made a big mistake. Because he said the Chaucians could wheel around on you quicker than any tribe. And if you threatened what was theirs, they would not stop until the threat was defeated. But they never went looking for war. They never went looking to plunder. They didn't try to show off. I used to say in class, the best don't advertise. When's the last time you saw a Lamborghini commercial? You don't. Because if you want a Lamborghini, you know where to buy one. But you see Toyota and Ford commercials, why? Because they're competing for you. The Chaucians, straight Lamborghinis. They're like, we don't need to go showing how tough we are. We're going to show, we're going to make something even more difficult. We're going to show how we can remain virtuous despite all the temptations. They remained the noblest of all the tribes. Peaceful. No plunder. No looking for trouble. But if trouble decided to come to them, Tacitus said they would wish they'd never challenged the Chaucian. So guys, in your life, be that. Be a Chaucian. Be noble. Be proud. Be brave. Be peaceful. Don't take from others. Give. Share what you have. Don't be an Ubian. If I see any of you being an Ubian, I'm a straight up Chaucian all over you. Don't do that, all right? Don't make me go Chaucian on you, your Ubian backside. Don't make me do that. Don't make me go all Chaucian on you. So, don't be an Ubian. Be a Chaucian. And uh, pause the video when I have the list. Look at the list. Think about it yourself. Okay, guys, I hope you've learned so much from this, right? I hope you've learned so much from... Tacitus and Germania, things you can apply to yourself. I know I do every time I talk about it. All right, guys, thank you so much, and we'll see you soon.